You have failed me, drone. I am sorry, master. I have failed. I don't know how to best put it in words. When you teleported me onto that ship in the year 2300. Uh, into that stog ship containing Thal, I managed to find his location, tracked him on the tracking device embedded into his spine that we put in there. I tried to convince him, but as soon as I was about to incapacitate him with my ray gun, my plasma rifle, Tor Folak shot me, left me to die. Luckily, I had enough power left in my teleportation device uh, to teleport myself here to report back. I realize we have wasted too many synthodes trying to retrieve Val. It's nearly impossible. Nevertheless, Tor is tough. After all, I thought I, myself, could take him. But I was wrong. You will be spared this time. Now go to the missile silo and assist the insurgents over there. I will then send in reinforcements. Forgive me, sir. Go to the missile silo now. Enough of this talk. We must carry through our main objective. That is to rule this planet completely. Go. Very well, sir. Anderson Robotics will kill me for this. Stupid Anderson Robotics. Them and their cyborgs, their androids. Useless! I tried my best, and yet this is how me, a mere drone, gets treated. He's outside. I must stop him. It is my mission. John Molex. You. 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 You will die by the hands of the top that Hydra. We will seek our revenge, you hear me?
Hey guys, what's up? Uh, oh no, it's him! Get him! See if we can't find this person stranded in this ship. I've been here before. I can recognize this wall. Either way, I'm gonna take care of these stog. Oh, wait, one second here. Hold up. Brought this for special occasions. Read the sign. All right, it's con time. killed off the stog that you saw in episode 11. You know, those stog in the ship? And I used that turret. Anyways, inside the, the ship there, I made my way to the engine room of the vessel. As I crept into the large room, I overheard a l angry conversation between one of Karnan's scout droids and an alien that sent the distress message off of the stog ship that I received back on my ship. I am here. This place must be a generator. This is the master controls. I could use this. Ah! You can do it! Wait, don't shoot. You there. Your name must be Thal. You, you are the last person to know the whereabouts of Tor Forlex's daughter. What? No, I will not. I will never. 
never tell. Where is she? Where is Kate Forlux? I will never. I will never tell you the location of where Kate Forlux is, the daughter of Tor Forlux. You will tell me. Answer. You must be out of your mind. Tell Thatch I turn. Don't make me destroy you. Don't. Get him off! Face-looking monster, mofo, G.I. Joe-looking mother humper he was down there, and oh my god. Oh, good grief. Anyways, you guys were talking about my daughter, and what the... F what the hell are you? What the, what the heck? Oh god. Ah. You look like you were made out of paper towels and plaster scene. What the hell? you damn right, uh, Pastor. Thal does look like a bit of plasticine wrapped in a paper towel. Man, these effects. Just as bad as Doctor Who from 1979. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see in this scene here, me and Thal are talking to one another. I, Tor Farlex, briefly introduced myself as he introduced himself as Thal, the last of his people. The Utah. The Yolta. Utah. Utah. Uh, fuck. Yulta, or something like that. Can't really remember at all, but, but, but one thing I do remember very well in our short visit together on that star ship, he told me that my daughter, K. Forlex, was still alive. I just couldn't believe it. At first I was confused, but when I told him my name, he told me he had heard of the alien with the mouth, the man with the sweater, the massive star fleet that was led by a star ship, the Death Comet, which was destroyed by my hand. Me, Tor Forlax. And the some 50 plus million stars that were annihilated by that massive explosion. My conflict with many alien races like the Valdarians, the Star, the Synthos, the Talthach Hydra, the Rodarians, and many others. His people, the Yolta, had lost their home world, Volverkik, in a catastrophic war with the Star a hundred years ago. He told me that just before the war with the Stog, the Yolta, these plasticine ass looking aliens, managed to make space traveling teleportation bracelets that helped the Yolta ultimately travel to planet to planet. Later on, after Thal crashed the Stog ship, given me the coordinates to the last cryogenic chamber of the Yolta people, Thal gave me a computer drive also containing the brief history of the war on his home world, and their attempt at teleporting on Vontex, to ask the help of my people, the Terraformers. During his brief time on the planet of Vontex, he found my daughter, knocked out and still alive during that battle on Vontex with the Stog. In person, he didn't give me much information. All he said to me was to give, to go to the planet Praxis 7, 
to meet up with an ex-dog by the name of Nos. Nos. Can you believe that? What kind of name is that? Sounds like an energy drink. And that's exactly what I said. Nos. What is... Like the energy drink? He looks at me with confusion and not understanding the joke that I had made. He says to me, no, Nas, he's an ex strog you, you must go and speak with him to on um, Praxis 7. Only then will you know where your child is. Blah, 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 blah. Long story short, I took his advice with the coordinates to his people and tried to convince him to come with me onto my ship. But he refused and wanted me to kill the Stog ships that surrounded Fleet's ship. He wanted to ram the Stog ship that he was in into the bridge of Fleet's ship. At roughly the same time as I was saving Thal on board of the Stog ship, my ship was cloaked and hidden behind an asteroid debris field, far away from the other Stog ships surrounding the Mondasian home world. Little did I realize that after shooting Scrap Heap in the head, caused the control chip embedded into Scrap Heap's head to malfunction, causing Scrap Heap to remember what had happened to him on board the Rusted Raptor. Forty plus years ago, the pain the anger, the suffering, all that jazz that he went through when he was taken by the stock. Scrap Heap was filled with anger and revenge and hatred towards the stock, and decided to teleport inside Vleet's ship to kill him once and for all. Pretty much just doing all the work for me. <clears throat> Whatever you guys do, don't, don't tell him that. Okay, if you guys meet Scrap Heap, just don't don't tell him that, okay? Just don't don't tell him that in a little bit of detail. I'll make sure he doesn't watch this episode, but just 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 don't let him. Okay, moving on. <coughs> yeah. Ship. This Tor Forlex guy. And the. And, the, and then you, Stark, killed me. You will die. Oh, he remembers. Kill him. Kill him. You and your stog are all dead. No! <laughs>
Thal took the Stark ship and took it for a spin, quote unquote. He single handedly took out the fighters that protected Vleet Ship. Vleet Ship, the last of the mighty Stark warships. Thal took the Stark ship that he was in and rammed it into the bridge of Vleet Ship. When Thal crashed into the ship, the onboard force field kicked in on Vleet Ship, keeping the occupants inside the bridge of Vleet Ship from getting sucked out into space. Foul. Fuck. I suck at rescue missions. God damn it. God. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, when you're dead, you're dead. Good Jesus, Murphy. I blew off his freaking head off. Well, I guess he's in a better place now. Shit. I live.